Yeah, how, how y'all doing? Here I go again with a little cool little thing I found out here. This is an LED as you can see, and it's been lit for a week in here, just running off a little salt water. So you can see we can actually read with it a little, if you get close here, you can see it. that's a caulk tube. Pretty cool. And I'm going to show you what I did to make this happen. So, let's get out of this dark area. I just wanted to show you how, how it looked, and now let's see what it's in. As you can see, it's just a little thing of salt water, a little jewel thief. Uh, and let's bring it on over here. And let me show you how we made it. Okay, just so you can see inside, it's just a little salt water. And there's our little battery. You can see at the bottom, it's starting to break down a little bit. Get real close here, you can see these salt crystals forming on it, which is pretty neat. And up top, it's just a, just a basic jewel thief that I made right here. And basically, this is all that it is. Okay, what we have here is some pencil lead wrapped in um, some paper towel and then wrapped with some aluminum foil and just a twister tie just to, to keep it awesome. Now what I did to get these pencil leads out, so you can see real close, it doesn't, some are short, some are longer than the others, it really doesn't matter. I had all of these together at one time and this thing lit up for a while and then I broke it down to see after like three weeks and the aluminum foil I noticed was the only thing that actually was breaking down on this. Like the graphite itself was in pretty good shape and as you can see it is nothing more than just pencil lead, graphite, whatever. And how I got it was I took an old an old can from a bean can or something like that and I took a whole bunch of lint that I had left over from the dryer and I put it inside this can and uh, yeah and we burned some pencils and I just snapped off the tips of them so they were nice and clean and real nice and that's what we used. So what we'll do here as you can see this one's dry completely completely perfect. This one I've had going for a week now okay I haven't added any more water to it I just dipped it the one time and it was it's been going fantastic, as you can see. Um, I really haven't noticed a difference in the um, the brightness too, too much. It's staying pretty stable. So, definitely has a it's been building up a heck of a lot of salt on the outside, which is pretty neat. And the aluminum foil itself becomes extremely brittle after well, after like a couple weeks. You know, it's like you have. Uh, aluminum foil on a grill after cooking it gets real thin like that so let me just show you real quick what I'm talking about I'll just break this one open that's why I have it here and you can see exactly what we did and wow I'll tell you what I don't know why more people aren't working on like salt water power, things like this. I know it's really corrosive and all, but I mean, we have an abundance of salt water. You know, why the heck can't we make something that runs just directly off of salt water, you know? No emissions, yada, yada, yada. Anyway, I'll stop preaching. So as you can see, we just have an aluminum foil sheet, paper towel, dun, 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 unrolled. And da -da -da -da. pretty good, and a couple pencil leads. Now you take all that, and you just roll it right back up again. Pretty tight. You want to, you don't want to be it too tight because you do want the paper towel to absorb, um, absorb that salt water. You know, and if you pen, I've noticed if you did do it, if you do them too tight, it doesn't absorb as much as it would if it was loose. Now let's come over here. Now make sure that the aluminum foil is lower than the paper towel. This way you don't short out the two. 
Uh, just, of course, it's a little difficult to do one handed, but hey, it's a rough. Sorry about that. Now let's just take the twister tie. Well, as I said, it's gonna be rough. Uh, bear with me here. Okay, well, it's rough. It's ugly. It's not as pretty as it was. But here we go. We're gonna dump her. As you can see, there's nothing else in here. Just salt water and you take oh, just dump it in there for a couple seconds Some bubble action going on down there all right I think that's enough Now we'll take our jewel thief off of this guy. Bring her over here. Cut the graphite to the top. And here we go. Zing. There you go. There is your... Oh, it actually looks a little better than the other one. There's your uh, graphite aka pencil lead aluminum battery and these work a real long time thanks for watching